Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of DIY Sensory Stories. Now, our story today involves a bit of cooking. What do we need if we're doing cooking? You're right, we need our aprons. Our aprons. I've got mine just here. <gasps> and I'm gonna put it on. Now this can be a lovely independent skill you guys can practise at home. I know some of you are very, very good at putting on your aprons as independently as possible. So it's going over my head. <gasps> Just like that, and around my waist. I'm ready for our story. <laughs> Before we start, we're gonna practise some sign-in. Can I see your sign-in hands ready? Well done. Flower. Flower. You have a go. Sign in. Flower. Well done. Egg. Egg. You have a go. Sign in. Egg. <laughs> Milk. Milk. You have a go. Sign in. Milk. Well done. Well done. Okay, it's time for our story. <gasps> What's in the box? What's in the box? What could it be? What could it be? What's in the box? What's in the box? Let's open up and see. <gasps> it could only be wee tiny Stan. Look at him, he's so small. He's so small. This is Stan, and this story is all about him. <laughs> Stan was a little chap, only five inches tall. He lived in a box because he was so small. One day he grew hungry, and that made him grumble. His tummy was empty, and it started to rumble. He needed a recipe book to make a plan. He needs ingredients, whisk, and frying pan. He ran to the cupboard to get the flour, but the bag pours open in a horrible shower. Now I know flour is one of your favorite sensory cues for quite a few of you. So here we go. We've got some flour. We've got some flour. Oh, wow. <laughs> Would you like more? Or is the flower finished? <laughs> On with our story, the story of Stan. Covered in flour, he found half a dozen eggs. Crack, splat, now egg is stuck to his leg. Moving around and hopping about, he fell into the milk jug and almost drowned. Wet and sticky and covered in batter, he shook his head, causing mess and splatter. Next he knocks over the sugar bowl, Stan is out of control, he trips, slips and lands in the pan. Oh no! A pancake is made out of Stan. A Stan cake, a Stan cake, whatever shall we do? Open our mouths. Pop him in and chew. Um. <laughs> Poor old Stan. <laughs> right, I have a challenge for you all. I would like you to have a go making some pancakes. Making some pancakes. <laughs> you will need lots of different ingredients. You will need some flour. You will need some eggs. You're going to need some milk as well. Have a go at home making some pancakes. Some pancakes. Now, I would love to say here's one I made earlier. But here's one <laughs> I brought at the shop. This is my pancake. My pancake. But I need to choose the topping for my pancake. What do we have? Oh, 
what's this? It's some lemon. Some lemon. I wonder if I'll like it. Let's find out. Oh! I don't like that. The lemon is finished. Hmm. I need to choose a different topping. Oh, what's this? Maple syrup. Let's see if I like it. Mmm. Mmm. That's very sweet. That's very sweet. I don't like it. The maple syrup is finished. Hmm. I still need to choose a topping for my pancake. <gasps> a banana. A banana. Oh, I like bananas. I'm going to choose this banana as the topping for my pancake. <laughs> All right, guys. If you can, do try making some pancakes at home. Please send me or your teacher some photos and that would look fan that would be fantastic. Okay, everyone. Until next time. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.